Hello, I hope you're having a great day. So today I am delivering the five bouquets that I made yesterday. I post a little I'll post a little video. And then I have a delivery to a wedding designer. And then I have to harvest right now. It's so nice out. It rained last night. Not much. It rained a little bit. Have a little bit helps. But it did rain and it cooled everything off. It's only like 60 degrees. But then later today it's 93 and then tomorrow is 100. So it is getting hot. But then I think it rains and cools everything down into the 80s next week. So exciting. Yay. But right now I actually feel chilly in my tank top. So that is actually a pleasant surprise. So I'm going to get to harvesting. I'll take some pictures of what I get. And I'll let you know how the day goes. Later I'll make my farmer market bouquets and... We can see which one goes first this week. Here's a look at the cooler today. Some of these buckets are not full anymore. Um, but this shelf is still pretty full. It's the same. I didn't use anything because it was all kind of the newest pit. I used a bucket of Snapdragons. Those shelves are full. And then those shelves are still pretty full. Because what I do is I, all the newest stuff goes here. And then as I, as I bring stuff in, I move everything and all the oldest stuff goes here. So yesterday I emptied a lot of this shelf, a lot of sunflowers, and now I'm going to go pick so that I can fill up my shelves again. Okay, I got my farmer market bouquets made, and I have to say, I think these are my favorite ones that I've made all year. Even though last week's bouquets probably lasted everybody forever because it was Lysianthus and Snapdragons and they're still going strong. They still look great. There's nothing wrong with them. They last well over a week. But this week I did add some sunflowers and zinnias. They don't last as long, but oh, they're so pretty. And I also have snapdragons and lisianthus, so they can pull the dead flowers and still have flowers all week. Um, but this week's farmer's market is themed Christmas in July. So you'll notice I have two extras on the end. And when we get up close, you'll just see they're kind of Christmassy ones. I went and cut an old juniper tree and put it in there. And actually I was like, this stuff's awesome to work with. The flowers just stick to it. So that was cool to experience because I've never made flower arrangements in December. So it's kind of cool that we're doing this. But like always, if you want, you can comment below your favorite bouquet and I will update you the order that they sell at the farmer's market. A lot of times these blue vases have been going first. I don't know if it's the contrast or it's the blue that people go for. Um, and another thing are orange and greens they go for a lot. I don't have a ton of orange and greens. I'm going to try to make some smaller $10 bouquets with some oranges and greens. And we'll just see which ones are your favorite. And then this week, I'm going to number them one through eight because I have those two extras for Christmas. And if they don't sell, that's all right. I'll enjoy them at my house. Another thing I thought I would point out is like these are in these vases and people can leave them, but they can also take them out and arrange them. And these vases have a tight neck. So like a lot of these arrangements will go like way out and be bigger and they get kind of tight in here. Um, but it just is what it is. But anyway, okay, let's start. So this is number one. Number two. Number three. Number four.
Number five. Number six. Number seven. And these cute little winter vases I've never gotten to use. <laughs> And number eight. <laughs> okay, so people gift me vases all the time and they'll bring me like a box of vases. And a lot of times I get these vases um, and I only deliver like $20 arrangements or more and like $20 of flowers don't fit in these, but 10 would. So instead of using the disposable vases this week, and some people bring me back vases anyway, I thought, well, you know what? They can bring them back if they don't want to store them. And if they just want to gift them to somebody and somebody wants a vase like this, they can keep it. And I think I'm going to try to use these up because they're taking a lot of cabinet space. And I have other vases that I use for my bigger arrangements. So I'm going to go ahead and use these as my $10 arrangements. Why not? They were free. So I can put $10 worth of flowers and my time into them and call it good. And I think they'll be easier for me other than at the farmer's market if they all crumble and break off my table. But I'm just going to be careful and hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> okay, the aftermath. So I got, I used up an entire bucket of frosted explosion grass and other greenery. This had four buckets on it and now it's Two. and then the rest of them are just ones I picked yesterday and today and then I'll flip you around put a big dent in that one that shelf had five buckets and now it's down to three and some of them are halfway empty that was pretty good and I emptied that emptied the top row I gained some sunflowers but I used a lot of sunflowers and then this row of all the oldest flowers only has three little buckets left. The aftermath. And a pretty messy place I need to clean up. And then I've got all of my $10 and $5 bouquets, my $20 bouquets, and this is all that's left of the zinnias. So, they'll be dead. <laughs> I won't get to these in time, and so I should probably just toss them. So yeah, I went through a ton of flowers this week on Thursday and Friday. <laughs> Again with the Thursday and Friday. But it's nice because then I keep moving the flowers. None of the flowers are staying in the cooler really longer than a week because I just keep cycling them over. So what I need to do, which I haven't done yet, is I wanted to show you the cooler first. So now what I'll do is everything on the far shelves, I'll just start shoving them around because I was trying to like date them all, but it's just easier because then I know and I can get in and out of the cooler quicker and lose less heat if I just run in and go right to my left and grab the buckets on those shelves because I know they're the ones that need to go first. So that's what I've been doing. I'll probably do that before I pick or sometime this weekend. Right now I'm gonna clean up this mess and then I'm gonna head home. So that's been my life on the flower farm today and I don't think you want to watch me wash buckets. So I hope everybody has a great day. I'll let you know which farmer market bouquets go first. I made way too many, I'm sure, but that's okay. I'll just enjoy them at home if that's the case. And I hope you have a great day. I thought I'd give you an update on the beetles. This is insane. The bag is up to here. There's that many beetles in there. There's that many. It's going to need emptied. I bet the other one's even more full. It was yesterday. 